Howdy y'all. Um, today's painting is going to be the prize for the winner of my latest giveaway, Amber. Um, I'll pop it up real quick. Our discussion for what she wanted, but This is the end result, and I adore it. I made it glittery. Basically, I kind of have a illustration vibe going on with this one. Um, I call it Finding Familiar, and I just like to think that it's a witch out picking lavender and herbs and comes across a sweet little black barn cat in the field. Um, it can be early morning or late at night, whichever you prefer. I think with the, how the sun is rising behind the flowers, it is sunrise because sunflowers point towards the sun. So the last area they would have been pointing to would be sunset. That's not important really, but yeah, that's my basic illustration. And I don't know what it is about me and making all my witches redheads, but something about the folklore of witches makes me think of Irish and Scottish women. I know it's a stereotype to say they all have red hair, but that's just what I think about when I think about witches is old Scott and Irish folk tales. Just paganism in general. Um, I do think I'm gonna make prints of this to sell in my Etsy shop, so keep an eye out for that. Um, the next giveaway, we're actually not far away from, I think the last I checked we had 133 subscribers so the next giveaway will be at 200 subscribers and anyone who entered my last one will have a double entry into the next one so if you want another giveaway to happen sooner please like share and subscribe to my channel come here come say hi my boy Lulu's down here come here and this is my black cat Buddy, look, look. His name is Lunatic. We call him Lou, Louie, King Lou, Lucifer. <laughs> All kinds of little Lulu names. Oh, don't get mean, Louie. He's never mean, typically, but watch him scratch my eyes out today. But he's normally a crazy monkey, hence the name Lunatic. But. That's today's painting and I'm real excited about it. Thank you so much for participating in my latest giveaway and thank you Amber for the great idea. I had a blast painting it. Um, it'll be in the mail to you soon, probably within the next month or so, depending on whether or not the country shuts back. <laughs> Shut. <laughs> shuts back down. <laughs> Can never talk. Which I hope it don't, and I hope all y'all are staying safe and taking the most precautions you can during this time. I know it's been difficult for everyone. So, anyway, the video is just gonna be the process. I'll try to touch on my steps whenever I did this painting. I'm not very good at it. But anyway, I hope you enjoy this video. Please don't forget to subscribe so you can participate in my next giveaway. It will also be an 8 by 10 of winner's choice. I was just so happy that she picked something more on the illustration side rather than the mm, typical commission side of what I get, like portraits of people. I, I, I enjoy doing them, but if you can make it interesting, all the more fun. Um, I like things to be unique. Yeah, I want something to be so much more than just a portrait of someone or a pet. Next giveaway. Keep that in mind. I'll also probably for future giveaways give away prints of future pieces. I don't know. It's it's a thing that's happening. We'll see. But yeah, enjoy my video. Thanks for watching. Bye. Okay, so whenever I start a painting, I always lay down some lines first. Um, very basic, and then I go over and do my sky just you know you bob ross it up you start with the sky then you do your background and then your foreground um and i always try to go into my lines a little bit with my paint yes so whenever i go to do the main focus of the painting it blends in 
cohesively and I don't really have to go back with background colors to fix things. I did in one part with her hand later on just because I suck at hands, but for the most part, it's all just layering up to the main focus of the painting. If I were to change anything, it would probably be the horizon line that I put the sunflowers on. I wish I had done them a little bit lower because I love how that sky turned out. And it just gets hidden by foliage once I go in to paint it. Um, I started with a very light yellow so that the glow from the sun would shine through the petals as it would in reality. But I do my backgrounds very impressionistic so because it's not your focus it's not what you really need to look at so that's why my backgrounds are so blurred I guess I don't really know how to talk about them um but you know then we go into the main focus of the cat here and my little my little witchy chick finding her friend I tried to bring in as much of what Amber said she liked into the outfit of the witch as I could. Um, I put stripes on the inside of the cape for Beetlejuice and then I made her dress purples and greens for Beetlejuice colors also. I tried to achieve a broader green but with the time of day I was trying to portray it was difficult for me to do. I hope to be able to get better at lighting in the future like that though but I like how she came out um I did give her kind of Gandalf vibes with the gray cloak and hat but I felt like she would have been lost in black and gray just seemed much more like a fall color to me At this point, you see me outlining her, and that's just because I wanted her to look more like a bold illustration. I also couldn't resist the urge to add glitter to this because, you know, it's a magical witch after all, and this is a magical moment of her finding her familiar. So, thanks again for watching, and please be sure to subscribe so you don't miss out on future giveaways. I do plan on doing some prints soon, so keep an eye out for those to drop. I'm on TikTok, Instagram, and Facebook. Please go to those for more updates on things. I also have coupons every now and then, which I will put at the end of this video. So stay tuned all the way to the end. Um, Y'all stay safe out there. Bye.